There's more on my side, isn't there? Yeah, a little bit. Come in. We have to wait for the day to stop. That's gonna happen every 15 minutes. What? The clock goes off every 15 minutes, and then on the hour, it's gonna go bing, so. It goes off every 15 minutes? Yeah, and it's probably behind on time. Oh my god. Okay, few things. First thing, I think we're still crooked. Second thing, we don't have any pretty lights behind us. Third thing, the setup is not quite how I would want it yet. Why? Well, just because- I find we're way too low. This table makes us look like tiny, tiny Tiny people. humans. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Let's get into it. Aren't you hot? No. Okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about... Board games. And... More board games. And... Board gamey things. And... More games. Yeah. We're here today to do another haul video. In our new yeah. temporary... New temporary setup. Setup. We are currently staying at Jeff's parents' house until we find a new house to buy, which will then have a permanent studio setup. But right now we are making do with the lighting and all of that stuff. We have a haul for you today because, okay, it's a very large haul. It's bad. It's bad. And there's more coming. And there's more coming. And I don't remember when we did our last haul, but we have 46 games to get through today. So in order to not make this a 70 hour yeah, long video, we are gonna get into it. Okay. First up from Steamforge Games, we have Bardsong. This is Bardsong Legend of the Ancient Forest. We got this from Lancelot Games. Mm -hmm. This was one I wanted to back and there didn't. There was a miscommunication. I know um, there's been a kind of hit or miss with this game in terms of the actual gameplay. I don't care. Look at all those miniatures. It's a bunch of bards and a bunch of awesome miniatures. Of and I'll just get things. enjoyment out of just painting these. The miniatures are incredible and I'm very excited to paint it and play it. Yeah, Jeffy, you gotta do that. Why? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go blow my nose then. Well, I think you got it. It was just a little hanger. Did I get it? Yeah. I don't think anybody could see it but me. I just didn't want it to fly out and hit me in the face while you were talking. On my side, let's start at the top. We have from Osprey Games Cryptid Urban Legends, and that's upside down. So we have Cryptid and Cryptid Urban Legends from Osprey Games. Thank you to Osprey for sending these along to us to review. These are social deduction-y type of games or mm -hmm. deduction types of games. Kyle loves Cryptid. Kyle loves Cryptid. Cryptid Urban Legends is a two-player version of Cryptid, which I think you need a minimum of three mm -hmm. players to play. So this one might take a little bit of time for us to get to, but... Yeah, but we'll be able getting to this one soon. Yes. So, don't know a ton about them, honestly, other than that they're deduction-y games. Next up is another big boy. This one from Chip Theory Games, and that is Burn Cycle. Burn Cycle is one we got the opportunity to play with one of the developers, Hello. Shannon, at Dice Tower, West. Dice Tower West. Chip Theory was kind enough to send us a copy of Burn Cycle to show all of you. So we will be doing that at some point in the future. I will mention we did get to play with the metal miniatures at Dice Tower and they were incredible. Mm -hmm. I don't think Jamie is as excited as I am. I have to play friggin' I don't even know. Exactly, because all the games I like are amazing. Next. Next up, we have Smash Up Disney Edition. Ooh la la. This was sent to us for review from the Op game, so thank you to the Op. We haven't played any of the Smash Up games, but if there is any that I want to start with, it is obviously going to be the Disney one. We will be playing this soon, and you will hear more of our thoughts on it when we do play it. Elsa's on the cover, so what's not to love about it? I love it already. Oh, Olaf's there too, and Scar. More Osprey games. We have Brian Boru. This one we bought on. We own. bought Brian Boru at Boardroom Game Cafe. Sure did. We have played Brian Boru again at Dice Tower West mm -hmm. with Sam from Lord of the Board and Mick from Our Family Plays Games. Mm -hmm. And who else was there? Katie. Katie. Our Family Plays Games and Lord of the Board. Go check them out if you have not already. Brian Boru is a really, really cool area control game. Again, I'm not gonna get too into these. Really, really love Brian Boru. Excited to play this at some point again in the future. All right, let's do these ones all together now. 
ba, ba, ba. We need taller chairs. We got three new unmatched themes. Jeff got this one for his birthday from Dulio from Table Knots. Thanks, yes, Dulio. Thank you, Doolin. So that's Hell's Kitchen. This is the one with Daredevil, Electra, and Bullseye. Then I ordered Battle of Legends Volume 2, which has. For the, which reason? Uh, Only for. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. She's so cool. I can't wait. To, we haven't played it yet, but. Anyways, it has Bloody Mary, Sung Wukong, Achilles, and Yenenga. Yenenga. Yeah. And then, of course, we got the Jurassic Park, and it is the T Rex versus Dr. Sattler. Sattler? We have played this one. We have played this one. We haven't played these two yet. This one is super fun. I played as a T Rex. Rack. That's unmatched. We're loving unmatched. Gotta catch them all, in my opinion. Mm hmm. Next up, we have Undaunted Normandy. This one was sent to us from Osprey Games. We have already played it. It has come recommended to me a bunch. A million times. And I loved it. I think you liked it as well. I loved as well. it. Yeah. So I we've really only played it. the intro base scenario to get to know the mechanics and stuff, but so Super good. Super fun. And we're going to be getting some of the other versions. Yeah, I have ordered Stalingrad. Next up, woo, we got a three fur. We got walkie talkie, veggies, and ouch from Devere Games. These were sent to us for review from Zatu, which is an online board game store based in the UK. All of their information will be down below. We have an affiliate link, so if you're interested in buying board games and you can't find them locally through your friendly local gaming store, online's always a great option too. Mm -hmm. And Zatu has really great prices and mm -hmm. great shipping and a ton of options. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the UK and you order from Zatu frequently, we have an affiliate link, Yeah. which you can use. Exactly, so they sent these three games to us. We will be covering these in our upcoming board game snapshots, so mm -hmm. stay tuned for that. But we have Walkie Talkie, Veggies, and Ouch. These are all just simple card games. Walkie Talkie's more of a party style. Veggies is kind of like set collection, and Ouch is a very unique game where you're trying not to prick your fingers on cactuses. Mm -hmm. Spoiler Bye. alert, I really like Veggies, and I'm 4-0, undefeated in Veggies. Whatever. It's not about who wins, Jeff. It's about how you play the game. All right. We have a gift from my friend Max for Thanks, my birthday wow. over at Table Knots. I know nothing about this game, but it is Battle Through Histories from Pegasus Spiel. Pegasus Again, Spiel. I don't know anything about this game. Max and I were chatting and he was like, hey, I got a couple games that I would like to maybe buy for you for your birthday. Pick one. And I picked this one because it's got really cool, unique characters in it, and I don't know a ton about it. I haven't heard anything about it, and I wanted to try I've it. I've never heard anything about it either. Yeah, Do I'm excited to play. you guys know anything about this game? And, and thank you, Max, again, for sending this. It was very kind. It says an adventure with Sabaton. <gasps> I don't know what that means. Saboteur. Next up we have from Colossal Games, we have Almost Innocent, which is a new game coming from Colossal, sent to us for review from Colossal. Thank you to Colossal. This is a prototype. So we still have to learn this. We have the prologue campaign scenarios in this, but it is essentially a deduction game where you are trying to prove that you are innocent by finding clues. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's and Kickstarter, I believe, is coming out in August or September or something sometime but mm -hmm. we'll have more information we'll have about that coverage on this yeah. soon the friends. artwork is the artwork is incredible. so cute yeah next up we have from mind clash games anachrony essential edition but wait there's more we also have anachrony exosuit miniature set sent to me for my birthday from kyle thank you kyle love you kyle king very kind King's also Cork. we have anachrony fractures of time expansion oh but wait we also have Anachrony Classics Expansion Pack. Help. When, when I picked these up from the Boardroom Game Cafe, the guy at the counter is like, oh, you did, you missed one expansion. I was like, for the love of God, no. So we are still without one of the expansions. Yes, Why didn't you want to get that one? I got all the stuff that is considered essential, I guess. This is all essential, yeah. Anachrony is one that Kyle played recently and really loved, and I think I would love. The theme is really cool. I don't know a ton about it. But has been recommended to me, and I'm excited to try it. I've not played a Mind Clash game, and I think it'd be good to play it with the upcoming Septima game that they're mm. doing. Let's do this one next. Also from the Boardroom Game Cafe, I got Similo Spookies. So for anybody who hasn't played Similo, this is a game where one person is trying to give everybody else clues based on a character in a grid saying whether or not they are Similo or dissimilo to the character that you are trying to guess. 
Anyways, this is the like Halloween spooky version, which is now my current favorite version. It was good. I liked it. Yeah. So Jeff and I played this the other night. We played Similo a bunch on BGA. This is the only physical copy that we have. Mm -hmm. I would like to get them all. Next up, we have... Thunderstone. And this was gifted to us from a Discord member, Richard, who Thanks, was Richard. parting with a couple games and asked if we would like to add them to our collection, which we are always looking to add to our collection. Literally all the time. Side note, when people are like, you have so many games. There's reasons why we're collecting. We're hoarders. No, we're not hoarders. We're collecting games. Yeah. That and maybe here. we'll discuss at some point in the future. Maybe but someday. Thunderstone, I don't know a ton about. It's come up a couple times in the BGG lists we've done. I, Thunderstone um, Advanced has. I don't know yeah. what the different... It, the, it must be a second edition. This must be the original. Th it looks like a, a deck builder. It literally says on the box that if you're zero to three, you cannot play this. It's 530 cards, so it has to be a deck builder. A deck building game of fantasy adventure by Me Mike Elliott. I have a sneaking suspicion this might be somewhat like Dominion. Oh. But fantasy theme. And it's AEG. And you know we love AEG. Anywho, so. Thunderstone. Thank you again, Richard. There's another one that Richard had also sent us, but um, it is over here on the side. So we'll yes. get to that in the future. We'll get to that in the future. Next up, we made a little order from Board Game Bliss because there was a few games that we could not find locally. Yep. And in that order, I decided to grab Rival, the Rival Network. So the Networks is a game I've wanted to try for forever. This is the two-player version where you are like producing a... TV show or a movie or something. Mm -hmm. And I'm obsessed with that theme. I've heard very, very good things about the networks. So I'm excited to try this. And I'm excited to crush Jeff in this game because I know TV better than he does. Seems likely. Next up we have from Renegade Games, Gravwell second edition. We got an opportunity to play Gravwell at GaggleCon with Rodney and Christy. Christy. We love racing games and Gravwell has a really unique gravity element to how this game operates and how you move around the board and we fell in love so we ordered it because we love again games. we love racing games. Like we love them. We might even do a whole video about them. We might. I don't know. Who's to say? Next up we have from Lancelot Games. We picked up Forgotten Waters and this is from Plaid Hat Games. A game that I have wanted for what feels like my entire life. Number one, look at this amazing art. It has a shark and I love sharks and pirates etc. This is a campaign style storybook game that you can play virtually so we are planning on playing this with Tyler and Ilya from Cavre and I'm very very excited about it. it has an app all yeah. that good stuff and it's plaid hat games and you know we love plaid hat so I'm very excited. That we do. It's so pretty. All oh right. my god sorry look at that turtle. Have yep. you ever noticed that before? Back to the Boardroom Game Cafe. We have Windworm. Now, in traditional Boardroom Game Cafe fashion, I went for a completely different reason mm -hmm. and ended up buying this game because they put it in the I sections like, like they have this little section of like new games. And I saw this and it had little airship miniatures. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm buying that. I don't know anything about it. Not at all. I saw it. I bought it. I don't regret it. Next up, we got on that board game bliss order, Can't Stop. This is a Sid Saxon classic, Eagle Griffin Games. This is a game that introduced to me by Billy and Michelle from Second Star to the Left. Then I showed it to Jeff, and then we became a little bit addicted to it. And then we're like, this is a game we could play with Jeff's mom. And now she is mm -hmm. also addicted to it. So she wants to buy her own copy. This is a purely push your luck game. It's so much fun. It's just dice rolling. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. Next up from Asmodee Canada, we were sent Memoir 44 New Flight Plan. So thank you again to Asmodee for continuing to support us. Yeah. I have fallen completely, completely in love with Memoir 44. This one's airplanes. Um, it adds new units to the game, airplanes, and I'm very excited to paint these and finally show Jamie this game. Mm. I do think you would like it. Mm -hmm. Next up, let's go with this one. Yeah. I have wanted this game literally since I saw it. She has. Every time I've passed by it, I've been like, I got to get that game. Anyways, this is Yak from Plan B. Well, it's Pretzel Games, which is also Plan B. And it was sent to us for review from Plan B. So thank you so much for sending this. I have already read the rule book. I have watched Kavri's video. They did a how to play on this. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely go check that out. I am excited. This is a family weight game where you are building up like a wall. Doesn't matter because there's a ton of yaks in it and there's a baby yak that is the first player token. Yeah. I don't, I just like, I'm a, I love it. Look how pretty it is. 
I love it. Next up, another one from the Boardroom Game Cafe, Cosmic Frog. Cosmic Frog is from Devious Weasel Games, which I think is like one guy that does it. Which is crazy. Weasel. Cosmic Frog is one that I saw a long time ago. The guys over at Table Knots play, and they're the only people I've ever seen play this game. And they had so much friggin' fun playing it. Max loves and this I've, game. And I've seen this for sale one other time since we've gotten into this hobby. I didn't buy it. Popped up on the shelf of Boardroom Game Cafe, and I said, I'm not missing any opportunity to buy this again. But the miniatures, and it's so psychedelic looking, as you can tell. The cards reflect what you're seeing here. It's very like what look at are it. these frogs on? Like, very cosmic. They're very hopped up. I'm very excited to play it. I heard that. Yeah, good job. That was a pretty good job. It was alright. They're hopped up. This one I am very excited for. We got. I'm not gonna tip this because it's chips, but just quickly. We got Wonderland's War from Druid City Games and Skybound Games. Now. We missed the Kickstarter. It was one of my biggest regrets of my entire life. And then they opened up this magical vault. And we were lucky enough to get in quick enough to get the deluxe Kickstarter mm -hmm. edition with all the bits and bobs and yeah, all that Yeah, so this stuff. is all of the little chips. Chips. I mean. I cannot wait. This is like, is this supposed to be like uh, Quacks of Quedlingburg, like bag builder mm -hmm. battler. I'm so excited. And it's it. Alice in Wonderland. It's beautiful. I'm obsessed. Haven't played it. Can't wait mm -hmm. to play it. I'm obsessed with it yeah. already. Strike. It's from Ravensburger. We had an opportunity to play this at PAX Unplugged. Had a blast with it. We bought it thinking that my mom might like it. She'd like everybody to know she thinks it's a trash game. She didn't like it. I, I don't know why. Be, I think it's she because got, she lost. She lost, yeah. But yeah, Strike is just a simple throwing dice into arena game. She said she didn't like it, but I think it was just because. But Jeff and I played it just the two of us the night yeah, before, so and we fun. played like four or five times in a row because it's so short. Yeah. Next up from Asmodee Canada, more games that I've just been waiting for for my entire life. We got from Plaid Hat, Stuffed Fables and the expansion, Oh Brother. This is a campaign game from Jerry Hawthorne, who you may recognize the name because he also did Familiar Tales, and he did Aftermath. Aftermath, and his games are so cute and so thematic, and I'm just, I've wanted this for forever. It's adorable. It's like little stuffed animals who are trying to, like, defend a little kid in her dreams or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Can't wait to play it. Next up from 25th Century Games, we have Prehistories. This was sent to us from 25th Century Games, so thank you for that. I don't know anything about this. This was kind of sent to us unprompted. I'm not sure if we'll do some content, probably will come up in a snapshot or mm -hmm. something. It looks great. The artwork looks incredible. Cute. And I'm sure it's something we will enjoy because we love most games. That's true. Also from 25th Centuries, they sent us Sunny Day Sardines, which is a little card game that just comes in a tin. So we actually have played this one. It is just a very simple set collection. Great to play on a patio. It's very good. Yeah, perfect for, a little for travel. Card game. Yeah. Got an expansion for Sorcerer's Arena from the Op Games. This is the Turning the Tide expansion, which has Moana, Davy Jones, and Stitch, who I love so much. We have a full review of the core set of this game. If you'd like to check that out, I'm very excited to try out these new characters, specifically Stitch, Dibs. You can have, you can have Stitch. Okay, good. Next up from Osprey Games, we have London. This one was purchased by us via Tim, Tim. and I believe Ashley. So they found us a copy of this, which we were looking for, and we scooped it up ASAP. Mm -hmm. London is a really cool tableau builder game that we played at GaggleCon. We've talked about this before in other videos. London is just one that I think we both fell in love with. Yeah, and great. I'm really excited to show this to more people because I'm not sure it gets a lot of chatter, at I least not in not in our game game family, I guess. Not the, game family. A handful of people that are in our game family. Yeah. Next up, we got a Kickstarter that came in, and that is Transmissions. We bought this solely because of the adorable robot miniatures. I know nothing about it. Do you know anything about it? I do it? not know how the game plays. I am very excited to play it, though, because the miniatures are incredible. That's all we know. They look exactly look like that. Look at it. That. Adorable. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Next up from another Osprey game. Crescent Moon. This was sent to us from Osprey Games, and I'm very excited to show this to you. This is a asymmetrical area control game. Go check out Sam over at Lord of the Board. Mm -hmm. He has done some content about Crescent Moon. 
You guys know I love asymmetry in games. Won't be a while till we get to it yeah. though because it's a minimum of what? Four players, four to five players. This is gonna require us to get moved to our new place where we will have a more dedicated game group. Let's stick to that Osprey train, shall we peeps? They also sent us Inkling, which is a word party-ish game. Once again, a minimum of three players to play it. So we probably won't get to play it for a little while. I actually haven't really heard anything about this. I just know that it's a word party game. Mm -hmm. Next. Next up, we have Pathfinder Adventure Card Game. So this was the other one that was sent to us from Richard from our Discord. So thank you again, Thanks, Richard. Thanks, Richard. I don't know much about this. We have played Pathfinder, the tabletop role-playing game. Sure have. Uh, even though Doolin has abandoned us again. Classic. This is the Adventure Card Game base set. Rise of the Rune Lords. Don't know much about it. Excited to play it. Excited to play it. Mama Land. Thank you, Asthma Day, for sending Asthma us Asthma Day Land. came through. It's by Phil Walker Harding, who is the designer of Baron Park and Gingerbread House. We played this at GaggleCon. It is a puzzly tile placement llama building game that I am obsessed with. I love llamas. I really love llamas. I love it. How could you not? How could you not? The art style reminds me of Emperor's New Groove, probably also because of llamas. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have from... Board Game Bliss Order, mm -hmm. Glenmore 2 Chronicles. That's a Jeff game. It's been recommended to me by Kyle. Michelle also really likes it a lot, I think. I could be making that up, Michelle. I apologize if Michelle. I am. Max, Max is, has recently gotten into this. 90 to 120. Hoi, I am hoi. very excited to play this. I think Jamie will like it. Probably. I don't know a ton about Glenmore, but it's been recommended a bunch, and I trust the people that have recommended it to me. I like Scotland. So I finally found a copy because it wasn't easy to find on board game bliss and bought it. It's huge. It is a big boy. I did not know that it was that big of a game. I did not either. Speaking of big games. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, uh, we got my father's work. Now this was on the shelves at the board and game cafe and we saw it. No, and no, no, we no walked by. We here. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, they have this game. And then Left, went back, because I was going to go pick up Anachrony for Jack. Mm -hmm. Walked by it. We only have two copies. What am I supposed to do? You're not going to be able to get this anywhere, so I had to buy it. We've heard amazing things we about have. this game. It was on Kickstarter. It just got fulfilled. The app just released. The app just released. It's from Renegade Games. It's a scenario-based game. It's like Frankenstein stuff, and I'm excited because it's a little spooky. And I like it. Last up on my side is from Fantasy Flight Games, Battle Lore. Oh, so Battle Lore is another game in the Commanding Colors series, kind of like Memoir 44, where you are playing out scenarios, rolling dice, and I did the thing. It was recommended after I had chatted with Rodney about my love for Memoir 44. He recommended this game. He's like, if you can find a copy because it's out of print, found a copy locally secondhand and bought it. Mm -hmm. And you might see another game in a future haul that is also on its way to me in this series of games too. We have a lot more games coming. Next up from Board Game Bliss as well, we got Ten Penny Parks. This is a Thunderworks game that it's about theme parks and I don't know anything else about it except that I like theme parks and it seems super fun. And that's why I got it. There you go. You don't need much to get me to buy a game. We got Fury of Dracula. Ah, 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 ah. Now this one popped up on Facebook Marketplace. So where we're from, there's like a maritime gamers buy and sell mm -hmm. where people post up their board games. And this popped up new in shrink for $50. Canadian. Canadian. Crazy deal. So we were immediately like, may we have this please? Yes, thank you. Because a lot of people were like, I don't know if that one will get tabled. It takes a very long time to play and you need a lot of players. But for the cost of what it was and mm -hmm. it's out of print and new and shrink and all of these yeah. things, we if, gobbled it up. If we're back to where we want to be by Halloween time, this will easily get Yeah, played. we should mention that. So we've primarily been two player for the majority of our board gaming experiences. Yeah. But once we move, we'll have immediate access to two dedicated players for sure. Mm -hmm. And Tristan and Zach. Mm -hmm. And Jason will kind of flow in and out. Mm -hmm. So Lance. we immediately double our gaming group. So a lot of these games will get played. Yeah. Yeah. Very excited. One more thing. Well, 
Last one sent from the op is Ven, and this is a party game where you are trying to, well, you're putting out a Venn diagram, you're laying down photos, or you're trying to get people to guess your words, your clues. We haven't played it yet. Can play it at two players, which is kind of cool. It seems like a relatively simple party game, so. Can you communicate wing, galaxy, and animal yeah. only using abstract images? Unicorn. No, you have to communicate wing, galaxy, and animal. Using abstract images, yeah. Yep, that's how you play it. Rodney has the how to play on this, but yeah. who needs it? We just explained it very clearly. You don't need Rodney's video. Don't need it, but you should go watch it if you wanna learn. Anyways, I think that's everything. There could be a few more hiding amongst the shelves, and we, like we said, we'll have another haul coming soon because we have more games coming. Why? Because we have a problem. Not our fault. We just love games. We don't have a problem. It's we don't not have a problem. problem. This is our hobby. This, this is what is we a do. Solution. This is like the only thing we spend money on. This is the only thing we spend money on. Exactly. No judgments don't here. Judge us. I won't judge us either. That's all that we have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in buying board games, like any of the many that we mentioned today, you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us, that is... Boardroom Game Cafe. It sure is. That's all we have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see. Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye. Later it is. Now we have to put this all away. You do. Now I'm we have to lunch. put this all away. You do. I'm oh, eating. are we having bologna sandwiches? I just want bologna. In our heads, we could probably use these. See above my head. No, like, look in the camera. Above my head where the... Sorry, I thought you were yawning, so I was, like, waiting. Nope. Yes. And... I'll do this later. Yeah. I think... Get north of Africa, or do we? No. No. Okay. No, just Stalingrad. Okay. I believe you. Mm. Jerry Hawthorne, Jeff. Tell me I can't. Honestly, I don't know. This should tell you how much I'm loving Memoir 44. Yeah, it should, shouldn't it?